three big mistakes that agents make. Number one, they think local, act local. They're not effective brand ambassadors. And number three, they don't value their time. When realtors think local, act local, they market their listings based on local market conditions. For example, Houston has a lot of suburbs. There is Woodlands, Katy, Sugarland, to name a few. I see it over and over again. An agent who's listing a home in the KD market would say, hey, this is so-and-so. I'm at my listing in KD market. The home has four bedrooms, five bedrooms. Now that listing in KD is known in Houston market. But when you leave Houston, when you leave Texas, people may or may not know what KD is, but people know what Houston is. So when you think global, what you should be saying is, this is realtor so-and-so, I'm in the Houston market. This home behind me is located in Houston at this address. Now, Houston is more relatable. The first words when he reached the moon was what? Houston, we have a problem. Everyone in the world has heard about Houston, but not many people have heard about Katy or a suburb. So no matter what market you're in, you may think local, but that's not going to get you success with the fact that we can prospect buyers and sellers and clients at a global level through a virtual platform. You are to talk about the market as though it's the market, not suburb, but Houston. So think global and act global. Second one is most agents are not effective brand ambassadors. When they join a real estate company, whether it's Remax, Keller William, Compass, they put that brand up front as though every client is gonna call them because they have the amazing Remax balloon on their sign. People do business with people they like. The brand is important, but it's not the most important thing and the mistake agents make. They promote the brokerage brand more than they promote their own brand. When I was a brand new agent, I was with a balloon and I was required that every for sale sign had yay big Remax balloon on it and all I could have was my picture. I could not have my logo or brand on it. That was the Remax policy. So what I did was I created this big, three feet by four feet open house signs and I would put up 50 to 60 of them every Saturday, every Sunday. Now, Remax does not have a policy for open house signs. Now, on those open house signs, I mentioned my brokerage name, but I don't have the big Remax balloon. I put my silhouette, my brand name on it. That branding back in the day got where I'm at today because everyone in the market knew of my team, the Seth Brothers team, who we were. And then when I transitioned, left Remax and went to EXP, People did not even realize the difference. They knew, oh, this is a Seth Brothers team. The brand behind us, Keller, Remax, EXP, did not matter. So be a brand ambassador of your brand. Build a brand around your name, your silhouette, or your picture, because that's the most important thing. Third one, most agents do not value their time. Most agents, like yourself, are control freaks. You want to do everything on your own because you think nobody can do it better than you. And that may be the case, but what you're doing now is doing everything, including the unproductive activities on your own. You do not even know what your hourly worth is. If you knew what your hourly worth was, would you do the task that can be outsourced for $5 an hour or 10 bucks an hour? You probably would. So first, what you got to do is know your hourly worth. And it's a simple math. If you're making $100,000 in commission in a year, divide that by two. That's $50,000. Take off some zeros. Your hourly worth is $50. If you're making $200,000 a year, your hourly worth is $100. Most agents do not value their time because they do not know what the hourly worth is. When you figure out your hourly worth, 10 bucks an hour, 50 bucks an hour, 100 bucks an hour, whatever your number is. That's when you can step back and say, you know what, this task that I'm doing is not worth my time. You'll hire resources, whether it's early resource or employee, to do the things that are non-money making activities. And when you do that, that's when you can focus on more money making activities prospecting clients, client servicing, solving problems, helping your client make the right financial decision. So once again, 
three main roadblocks or issues most agents face. Number one, they think local and act local. Number two, they're not effective brand ambassadors for themselves. They, they brand the brokerage more than the brand themselves. And third one, most agents don't value their time because they do not know what the all you worth is. You want to be more successful? Get over these three roadblocks and you will be more successful in the near future.